Well, how do there, chums? As I, Captain Steve, and today, chums, I'm playing Dragon's Dogma, and today I'm having a rethink about my pawn. I want to make her more hireable for other players. Right now, her inclination is medicant and scather. Now, I didn't know what that actually meant, so I looked it up and I realised it does mean quite a lot. It actually means the AI sort of nuances that your pawn is going to take during battle, and the only way to change those inclinations and AI of how your pawn behaves is to go see this guy in the encampment where you severed the Hydra's head. Yeah, just up from Cassidus, the next little fort over. Go there, talk to him, and go into tools, and you're going to find all these elixirs that you can't get anywhere else in the game. And yes, you, you give these to your pawn in the quantity higher than the next, in the ladder sort of chain that you want it to be. And although that the page only shows those two on my inclinations there's actually it goes on for about you know pages it actually puts these in order so what i would say is buy say i don't know four of the one that you really want a lot of three of the next two of the next and one of the next or something like that or if you want to go to town maybe even go five or six and then five four three two one that sort of thing on the way that you want them to behave. So if I wanted to be Utelian, I mean, you can see here what it actually does is, is quite good. I want that to be above Scather. I don't want my mage climbing up creatures because at the moment that's her second inclination. She wants to climb the freaking creature, but she's supposed to be healing people, buffing people, not climbing and trying to hit them with a freaking wand. It's not going to do any damage, you know? So I don't want Scafer anywhere in that top ladder at all. And even Medicant, at the moment, as soon as I get a little tiny scratch, as soon as my health goes down a little, or I get out of breath, she's running over trying to give me some more stamina or trying to heal me, even though I've hardly had any damage. So I don't even want her as medicant. I want her to... I do want her to heal, but kind of after the battle, or if I'm critical. So I'm going to put that further down the list. So there we go. I've gone for two different things that I feel are going to help me out. So I've gone for one that's going to make her target people at range. So anybody that's shooting me with arrows or hitting me with magic, because she's got ranged attacks, I want her to get them first. Then I want her to go for all the people that she can take out with area effect. So I'm going to give her like Cosmotation or uh, the, the the one where the laser whips or whatever, the lightning whipping one. I can't remember what it's called, Brune Tiding or something. Yeah, so I want her to be able to take out a massive range of people all the smaller enemies for me so yeah what i've done is i bought the potions so the one that i want at the top of the list i bought six of the next i bought five then four then three then two then one you get the idea and now i'm just going to make her drink them there you go my pawn's inclination has changed heck yes it has awesome so i started with the one that i didn't want the most at first and then i worked my way up to the one that i want to be top of the list now i'm going to stop the night and now we're going to check the inclination and hopefully we're going to see the changes that i want on my actual pawn. So here we go, let's go down and let's see if this has worked. Hopefully Scafer is gone. Challenger at the top and Mitigator secondary. Exactly what I wanted. And if you could see further down, hopefully it's got the others in the order that I wanted them and Scafer is somewhere off the freaking radar. Brilliant. So that's helped. Now I just need to change her abilities slightly because her skills, at the moment, she does a lot of buffing and she does hardly any attacking. So if you look at sort of like her abilities where it comes to knocking back under skills, let's pop into skills for a second. Oh, the offenses, sorry. So yeah, at the moment, her primary, she has got a little bit of knockback, knockdown power and the element is holy that she's kind of got at the moment. Because she's like this... She almost looks angelic in what she's wearing, but then she's a demon type in look. You know, she's got the red skin, she's got the pointy ears, she's like a little fire imp. I want her to do holy stuff and fire stuff. Holy fire! Heck yes! Yes, what a nice little crossover. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'm doing with her. So hopefully I'm going to make her abilities match that. Ooh, my mic nearly fell over there, people. Let me just put that back up. Hopefully that's going to be okay. There we go. Oh, don't press F7. Nice. So I actually stand my mic on my keyboard. Sorry about that, people. So there we go. Let's uh, let's just do her abilities and make sure everything looks great. So at the moment, you can, you, I just want to shuffle things about at the moment. So I want her to have Holy Affinity. And then I'm thinking maybe that other one that sort of gets rid of petrification and all that sort of stuff. Because that's quite good. We need her to be able to heal as well. So I'm going to mix and match this and make it feel a little bit better for her. So I want that one where she whips people with the lightning. Uh, anyway, here it is. 
Home Brontide or something. Brontide. Yeah. Mm, okay, fine. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to have to Google what Brontide means. Yes. So Fire Affinity. And then I'm going to give her Cosmitation, I think. Or the, the one that does the fire wall. Yeah. I don't know, but I'm going to give her that one that just stops her from, well, stop people from getting petrified, because that's a good one to have. I guess it is. You don't want to be petrified, no. But I do take some anti-petrification stuff with me on most missions. There we go, high cosmetation. There we go, so fire and lightning and holy power. Ha! She's going to be hard as nails. So there you go, people. If you do want to hire my pawn, I put my PSN name at the top of the screen now. So hopefully you can pick her up and take her on missions. And let me know. Let me know if those changes have taken effect. Do you still see her climbing creatures? Is basically what I mean. Hopefully that Scafer stuff is right off her radar. And hopefully she's going to be doing ranged attacks and buffing at the right times. That's what I'm hoping is going to happen. I'm hoping she's going to take out all the little cannon fodder people for you as well. Her girls. Right, oh, so that's all of her inclinations and skills sorted, but now I need to make her gear extra tasty, and also her weapons. Now, you would do that by doing dragon forging. The only trouble is, is my main character is male, obviously, and she's female. Now, a lot of the gear that she wears, only females can wear. Yeah, and I'm quite into what she's wearing now. I think it really matches her sort of character, her backstory, if you like. Some sort of angelic demon. Yeah, I really like that look. So, really, what I need to do is I need to be able to dragonforge her gear by putting it onto a female character, which means my main lead, my main player needs to be female. But normally I'd go over to the hairdressers and look to see if I can do some sort of decent level edit. However, the hairdressers post game is now into a giant freaking void and I don't really fancy starting a new game plus because I haven't done all the missions yet and I'm doing quite well. So if you head back to the encampment and see this bearded chap, you can buy one of these. The art of metamorphosis and that. Metamorphosis. Yes, lovely. What a mouthful. Freaking heck. But buy that off of him. You can buy a one-off change or you can buy one that's slightly more monies and, well, rift crystals that's going to let you change it infinitely you can change yourself as much as you like so yeah brilliant i think i'm gonna go for both well I, I went and bought the one that lets you do a one-off change and then noticed that there was another one that lets you do it as many times as you like so i bought both but then i look inside of my actual screen here and i'm like well where the fudge is it did you sell me it all freaking not bearded chap so I go back in that's just a this is where i buy the second one now because the first one it says it's sold out so there we go and I, i'm like yeah it should be under diamond it should be under other and so yeah it's only ten thousand rift crystals so fudge it and it's an infinite one i can use it as many times as we like so that's the one you want you want the bottom one don't bother with the first one that i bought the secret of metamorphosis is the one that you want to buy people there we go borticated awesome now let's see if can find it in my menu under diamond because it should be under the diamond here we go and then yeah i definitely bought it and i was logged in it's not there do you want to know where it is this took me a little bit of frick i had to google this mother yes yes there we go here we are mother fudger yes here we go so it's actually on the title screen so you need to go to save and quit and then you need to select go back to title screen Bruin. so here we go save and return to title screen the second option there for me and yes here we go and now i'm actually on ps5 not ps4 but yeah it's a ps4 game running on ps5 i've had to mute this bit and I've also done all that squirrely stuff to it, added on a filter, mainly because I didn't want to get a flag by freaking Capcom. They love giving flags for their own bits of music and uh, yeah, title-y, screeny stuff and cutscene-y type stuff. Right freaking git to stream. Capcom, sort your fudge out. If you are going to put out Dragon's Dogma 2, don't put none of that in there. There's character edit now on the main menu. So before you go to load game, just scroll down and you should see character edit. Hopefully you could still make that out. But yeah, I'm worried I might get a flag. So there we are. Awesome. That brings you into customization mode from the main menu. And I can do this whenever I want now so i can swap it back to this sort of look if i want to but you know what i'm going to make my character look just like my actual pawn 
But instead of having red skin, I'm going to make this one blue. So I've got a little blue elf and a little red elf for these little imps. And I, I think it's going to look freaking excellent, having like one that looks blue skinned and red skinned. Because then it almost looks like they're fire and ice or something. Yeah, like the elements. Yeah, it'd be pretty cool. Plus I'm a magical archer. It's good. If, hopefully it's going to keep the same gear. I'm going to look like a little smurf with that big red hat and everything, aren't I? Yeah, you know, like proper smurf. But yeah, anyhow, let's uh, change my build. Uh, I like them to be quite small. I have noticed, though, if you make characters smaller and lighter in their actual stature they actually carry less weight which is a bit of a shite so yeah i've just changed her to be quite small i don't think she's going to be able to carry quite a larger load but you know when you go to the shadow fort and there's those little tunnels that you can't fit in if you make a smaller character you can yeah so that's a little bit of added content that you get to see that you don't see if you're a big burly chap. So there we go. There's pros and cons of making them how you want. But there we go. And now I'm going to have these two little like twin imps running around. It's going to look pretty darn sweet. I made her voice a little bit sort of deeper than the other one because the other one sounds like she's on helium. So this one's like a contrast to that. So there's it's like darkness and light. I, I kind of like the idea. And she does look rather gnarly, actually. Yeah, look at that. She looks like a little smurf. <laughs> little smurf. Awesome. So there we go. Now I should be able to put all my gear from my pawn onto my main character. Go fight a dragon. I've done a video on easy dragon forging. I put a card in the top right corner. Go check that out because, yeah, it's an awesome little video on how to get dragon forged. Heck yes. Till next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.